some people have asked me, well, what do you mean, Jim, by being seasonally savvy when you feed the birds? And being seasonally savvy means that you adjust your bird feeding behaviors, your offerings, to adjust the behaviors of the birds. And they need different kinds of nutrition in different times of the year. Well, here we are in spring, and they need foods to help them through the nesting season. Ones that help them have more energy because they're so busy taking care of all that you have to do to build a nest, defend a territory, find all the food, and then they need calcium to help make the eggs and build strong bones and bodies. And protein helps uh, keep the feathers in, in good condition as they are grown. So that would be seasonally savvy to have foods that have those nutrients. This is our nesting super blend. It's sunflower chips, peanuts, dried mealworms, bark butter bits, which are little balls of suet, safflower, tree nuts, and calcium carbonate. So you put all those together and to have that high quality of products, you'll say, you know, this looks good enough to eat, except maybe the dried mealworms. So our mission at Wild Birds Unlimited is to bring people and nature together. But we've added another mission, and that is to save the songbirds, because there's been a great reduction in the number of birds over the last 50 years. Well, anything we all can do to help save the birds in our own backyards is gonna make a big difference. And if we have millions of people across North America helping out, it will make a big difference in helping save the songbirds. For a lot of people, it just brings peace and joy into their lives. And that's a very important thing as well. And, and a lot of people have told me that they've shared this with their friends, their relatives, and as they also got into feeding and watching the birds, it's done the same for them. And I think that's a really important thing in this world to find a way to bring peace and joy into your lives. And bird feeding does that. Creating uh, a, a year-round uh, offering could be water, could be food, could be sunflower seeds, could be suet, uh, bark butter, all sorts of things you can do in a small space or a big space. But I think the really important thing is knowing it's not just the pleasure we receive out of what we're doing. And we do. The beauty, the songs, the interaction with nature, it's not just that is that we actually are contributing to the overall health and ecology of the planet by helping the songbirds survive in what is an actual very harsh world. <laughs>